All right, Lancer, so we all know that Thousand Year Bottle Yamamoto is one of the best Brave Battle characters in the entire game. He's absolutely dominating his way through the Brave Battle game mode, but we have potentially invented a counter, and who would have thought it would be the a filler character? <laughs> it's Oko. It's Oko. We're using Oko today. So this is something that I've been really looking forward to, not to counter Yamamoto in particular, but more so to use him in Brave Battles at max transcendence potential, right? Because he essentially is max transcended, level 1 SP, I'm not going to bother leveling that up, but every other stat is lower 10, and I just so happen to get 300 defense, so for today's build, we're going away full defense build, right? And it's one of the things I said when this character first came out, the good thing about him is that he is a premium character, and we will eventually get him duped out in the future at max transcendence, and at that point, it's a potential more common character to use the counter the captain meta which for the most part is going to be always relevant right most characters we get in this game are captains so this character will always be relevant maybe sometime in the future we might get more stern riches in the game mode and that would therefore lower his value but either way if anyone's ever using captains oko is always going to be relevant for those that don't know oko does work it's really cool with the way they designed him and no other characters like him to be fair in this case though he has a 50 percent chance to dodge captains and he also does have counter attacks so when you do actually dodge and he has a 50 percent chance of doing so, you're reverting damage back to the enemy, and then it also does have Brave Battle counter, so when you do take damage, which is 50% of the time, they're also taking damage back, so no matter what happens to Oko, they're taking damage back, which I think is really cool. And to potentially best demonstrate this team, this is the team that we are rocking with today, very similar to our 4 Hollow Ichigo Showcase. Just a standard build for Yuha. Same with the links, they're just 16% DRs. Same with the links, they're just damage reduction links. Special move level 1 out of 5, so level 10 attack with dodge and also pierce barrier as bonus abilities. Yamamoto has these following accessories with these links. And in his case, he is going to be one of the carries of the team. Special move level 4 out of 5, so level 10 attack focus, stamina and also defense. With low stamina damage and also damage to lacerated enemies as bonus abilities. And then Oko, we're going with the full defense build. So we have a golden chappy, chappy with the guitar all giving us 30% defense. And then I've given him just three DR links that have the most defense stat that I can possibly give to the particular Oko. When it comes to bonus abilities, we have dodge and also pierce barrier. With that said, let's try it out. So in this case, we're going against this lad. I don't really care whether we win or lose. I want to see how Yamamoto pairs up against this particular Oko. So doing, not doing a lot of damage to be fair. Then again, we aren't doing damage back because again, we have to wait 10 seconds. But that's kind of the idea for this character is to kind of stall. Remember, he doesn't go for invincibility, but look at that. Look at that. He somehow ended up winning against the Yamamoto, which is super funny, because again, we don't do damage for the first 10 seconds. This team right here is kind of like a mirror match. My Yuha should lose, their Yuha should lose, but let's see how Oko pairs well against a... I mean, he basically destroyed that sergeant, but that's expected, right? That's what happens when you have attribute and also kill advantage. And in, you know, sergeant's case, he isn't immune to damage for the first 10 seconds. Let's go against this lad. I believe this is a special move level 1 out of 5 Yuha or Yamamoto. So only level 10 attack. But look at that, right? Man is missing. And I think even when he does hit us, he's only doing like 100 damage. We do not have to worry. We have to worry about Yuha though. Yuha's a threat. <laughs> Yuha is a threat. But we just go ahead and potentially... No, they actually used their soul against me. He's done out. He's winning it. He's, he's still winning against you, Hop. Okay, we'll take it. This is probably going to be the best defense board character that you can use in the current meta. Just because he works against any captain. And even there, that you, Hop, couldn't really do much to us. And we were also lacerated and burned too. So that did a lot of damage to us too. I thought that was our Yamamoto doing it. I haven't even been paying attention to the other characters fighting. I've just been focused on Oko. But so thus far, he's doing quite good. Now, this team in particular would be very easy pickings for an SB team. But in this case, look at the stamina on Oko too. We have 60,000 stamina. Took like a whole nat string just to take out their sergeant. So if we do see any sergeants in a team, we can definitely put Oko against them to guarantee a win. And at that point, then he can start focusing on other characters in case the battle does go on longer than 10 seconds. All right, we should have the advantage here, but once more, let's focus on Oko versus Yamamoto. Let's see how it does turn out. Again, I'd be surprised if we get under 50% stamina. He's doing like no, he's doing one damage to us. Again, we did no damage back, right? But the idea is that he is going to be a good store character. So if you have two good characters on the side to back him up, it makes this build a lot more impressive because they could deal with the opponents that they're going against. And then it quickly becomes a 3v1. If Yamamoto is a threat, this is one decent way to deal against him. All right, then let's see how this one does go. I think the decider here might be on who actually gets to use the debuff first. So they don't even get to use a boost. That's really good. We have our boost off. And look at that once more. 
Oko, I believe, didn't even get under 90% stamina, which is really impressive. And I believe in that case, that Yamamoto that we were going against was special level 3, so level 10 attack, focus, and also stamina. Another team to go against, in this case, a Max Trance and a Kuryashiki. Okay, so hopefully the Kuryashiki kills my Yuha, because I want to see two captains on Oko, right? Does is, is that enough? I don't know, maybe. But we can see once more that Oko is stalling it, and that gave Yamamoto time to go to their Yamamoto, and once more, very easy win. I don't think at a single point Oko's got under 50% stamina. Maybe there was one game, but I am trying to go against teams that are very similar power level to mine, if not more, and Oko's performing really well here. Up next, the same exact team layout. This is a pretty common team for the most part. Again, hopefully, I kind of want Kiryashiki to win against my... Oh, hold on. This might be a, a, a 1v3. Let's see how the Yuha plays out, right? So there it is. It's a 1v3. Can Oko win this? Can Oko win this? Potentially? He's tanking it. He's only gone and done it. He's only gone and done it. Okay. <laughs> Oko's an absolute beast. That is crazy. So that's something that I kind of wanted to see happen. Both of our characters lose and it becomes like a 1v3. And that somehow worked out. I have no idea how it did, but Oko's that guy. I think the biggest, scariest character for us right now is the Yuha. Because again, Yuha's not a captain. He can do damage to us. But even then, we have the Brave Battle counter, so we're doing damage back to him. All right, this team has significantly more power level than us, but we are going against a Sergeant. It is a Max Transcended one, but it shouldn't really be much of a struggle. Yeah, look at that. You know, a few extra hits to take him down. That's fine, though. Our Yamamoto did win against Yuha. And Kuriyashiki, while he was max transcended, it was a 2v1. Bro couldn't do anything. Another easy W. There we go. I don't mean to keep going against the same team, but we keep seeing the same people. Is this the same person? Did they just appear twice at the same time? I mean, we'll take it. We'll take it. Not really giving me much of a problem. There we go. There Kuriyashiki goes down in just 7 seconds. All right, then this that has quite the high power level. They do have a max transcendent Yuha. So we'll see how this does play out. Our Yamamoto might win. It really just depends on the damage output. We didn't, but we did get him low enough. And in this case, there you are. Shouldn't be much of a problem to us. There he goes. And then now we have a Yamamoto who is immune to damage for the first 10 seconds. But that's not really going to be a problem for us. Keep in mind, lucky for us, this is a good example. That Yamamoto can apply both weakening and also burn. But Oko is immune to weakening. So even though the burn was doing damage to us... We were still able to do damage back to Yamamoto. And that was probably one of the closest fights yet. If we weren't immune to weakening, I feel like that would have been it for Oko. But luckily, he does have that extra immunity. Next up, we have a decently well-built Yamamoto. Special with level 3 out of 5. So level 10 attack, focus, and also stamina. Let's see how it does fare out. Not really going to be much of a problem. Our Yamamoto did beat their Yuha. So that gave us enough time to go against their Yamamoto. And we were able to take out all three of them super, super quick. This is a pretty beefy team. No Yamamoto on their team, but we shouldn't really worry, right? As long as our Yamamoto does enough damage to their Yuhan, who is max transcended. As you can see, we took him out. And a solid Oko. Our Oko, I wasn't even looking at, was able to take out their Kenpachi super easy. Okay. <laughs> okay. We might take our first L here, but this is a fully max transcended team. I have no idea if we're going to win this. It really comes down to our side more so. We did paralyze the Kuriachiki, but let's focus on Oko. Okay, you know what? A max transcended... Hold on. Hold on. Um, he's tanking it. He's tanking it. Okay, we lost that, unfortunately. That was a fully built team. We could have potentially won that, you know. I think it may came down to the sides. If we had the counters or the crest characters to go against them, it might have been it. But Oko was, for the most part, holding his own. Again, if we had the better sides, maybe it could have turned the tables around, made it a 3v1 as Oko was still delaying it. But Oko is there to be a tank, and the tank's value is only as good as the team if we have good enough offensive power. Unfortunately, they had the stat advantage, they won it, and Oko, as while he was tanking, he almost lasted a full 10 seconds, it wasn't enough to at least go against all three of them. This team has a higher power level than us, but it shouldn't matter because we have a good set of character to go against them. Maybe not to be fair, we have a... You are against their sergeant. They are turning a counter to us, so we'll see how it does go. But we take out their Kenpachi, and we were able to take out the other two characters too, with just a sliver of HP left, which is actually pretty cool to see. Next up, we're against Mr. Robo. I have no idea how this is going to pan out. It might be a struggle since our Yamamoto might lose this fight. No, we just won. Okay. But you can see there, we were stalling enough against their particular Yamamoto that we allowed Yua and also Yamamoto to go against him too and take the W. 
And last up, going against a team like this, we love to see it. Let's see how it does go. So our Yamamoto should beat their Yuha. Our Oko is going to stall their Yamamoto. And whether Yuha wins or loses, it really doesn't matter all too much. So in this case, again, you can see it's now a 1v1. Oko coming through. Go and I'd finish it up. There he goes. He has the last ditch. That's fine, though. We're using our Sobom. No need to. But there we go. Not a problem whatsoever. But well, that's it, lads. That was the video for today. Trying out a Max Transcended Oku against the Captain Meta Meli Yamoto. And for the most part, he held his own, right? There was only one time we really lost, and that was against a Max Transcended Yamoto. But to be fair, those aren't that common. You're not going to always find a Max Transcended Yamoto. But if you do, make sure you have good enough sides to back it up. Because we could have won that if our two side characters won their battles, right? Unfortunately, they lost. So remember, Brave Battles is a team game mode, even with a Max Transcendent Oko, or even a Max Transcendent Yamoto. You also want to have good sides to back the character up, right? Either way, though, very solid character. We've been known this, though. As long as there are captains in the meta, Oko is going to be one of the better Brave Battle characters to counter that current meta. And as of right now, he's still holding his own. And since he's been out for like a year now, maybe you have him duped out. I mean, I never really poured on the character, and I somehow got him five times, right? Which, as already mentioned, was something that I was looking forward to doing when the character first released. And it's kind of the same thing that I said about Ishu when he first released back in February, is that he's a premium character. There will come a time where you will get the character duped out. And as of right now, I have Ishu in 3 out of 5. So eventually, when I get him duped out, we can do the same thing which we just did with Oko today. And that's the benefit of being a premium Bray Battle character. I still love the way they designed this character, though. They haven't done much with Dodge in a while, which is probably for the best. But I really like the way they designed him. And I think he's just going to be an overall very solid character for quite some time. Especially if you do what we did today, where we went with a full defense build. He definitely held his own. Even against Thousand Year Blood with Yamoto, which is really cool to see. So, I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.